my name is Ivory. I'm currently a junior at CYCU. And in this video, I'm going to show you all how to operate CYCU's application website to apply to CYCU. Here's the link for the application website. Firstly, it will ask you to log in with your student ID, but because you don't have a student ID yet, so we can just insert our email to log in. Let me see. Okay. And after inserting your email, a code will be sent to your email and insert that code here. So this is the first page of the application process. And this page requires you to fill out your personal data. For the intended degree, you need to choose which degree are you pursuing, whether it is a bachelor degree, master's, or PhD. So after that, you must fully fill out your English name, uh, first name, middle name, if you have one, and your surname. Although a Chinese name is optional here, I recommend you to have a Chinese name for the sake of living in Taiwan. So email is already filled out. After that, you have to fill in your cell phone number or telephone number if you have one. And then choose your gender, male or female. After that, choose your marital status, married or single. If you don't have a children, just fill zero. So the next part is filling out your personal address information. First, fill out your street address where you live in your country. Then fill out the city or country where you live. And next, choose the country where you live. The last, um, the last one is fill out your home zip code. After filling out your home address, you need to fill out your mailing address. If your mailing address is the same as your home address, just check the little box here. And if it is different from your home, or you don't want a package to be sent to your home address, then you need to fill out a separate mailing address. The next part is to fill out your country of citizenship and passport number. The place of the birth is the city and country where you are born. And then the next is to fill out your date of birth. After that, choose the country that you are officially registered in as a citizen. Then fill out your passport number and your passport expiration date. Okay, moving on to the next part is your parental data. First, fill out your father's name. Same as before, uh, first name, middle name, and surname. Then your father's country of citizenship. After filling out your father's data, just do the same with your mother's data. Okay, the last step of, uh, on this page is to fill out your guardian information. If your guardian happens to be your father or your mother, you can just click one of the options provided here. But if your guardian is a different, a different person, maybe your uncle, grandma, etc., you must fill out it separately. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to fill it uh, with your, if your guardian is not the same as your father or mother. Just like before, fill out his or her full name, then fill out his or her Chinese name if possible. If he or she doesn't have a Chinese name, then it's okay. Next, fill out your relationship with this person, maybe your uncle, aunt, or even your grandparents. After that, fill out his or her email address, but by any chance, your guardian doesn't, guardian doesn't have an email address, that is fine, but you must fill out his or her telephone number for the school to contact to if needed. So fill in, your, uh, fill in their telephone number or cell phones, then Lastly, fill out the address where your guardian lives at. That's all for this page. Now, moving on to the next page. 
Okay, so we have arrived at the second page which is program choice Now you are asked to choose your preferred college and department that you would like to study Keep in mind that it is possible that you pick uh, a second choice if you have more than one college or department of choice So don't worry if you have more than one choice Okay, so these next two columns, the most preferred advisors and research fields are asking you if you have um, like a preferred advisors or teachers in CYCU. If you have one, you can also state the research field. Um, and then after filling in all of that, then you need to upload your autobiography. It can be in English or Mandarin. Use which language that you are more familiar with. But it is best and recommended for you to upload it in both language. Click choose file and then browse for the file and then click upload. And then choose the program and department that you want. The last one is the statement of purpose. What is your purpose of studying here in CYCU? It is like your study plan, what are you going to study, um, what are you going to do, like the general outline of your study journey here. In terms of language, it is the same with autobiography. Remember to click upload after you have chosen the file. Okay, moving on to the next page. Here you are asked to fill out your past educational background. Let's start with your high school. Fill in the name of your school here and then the country in which it is located. And after that, fill in the date that you are graduated from it. So as for I'm just click no. The university section is for students that already finished their university. It is relevant for students that want to apply for a master degree or a PhD. Same as university, but this is for students that already achieved their graduate degree or a master's degree that want to pursue for a PhD. The work experience section is for students that already have work experience before entering university, but if you don't have, then it's fine. Moving on to the next page. At the top section, you can see there are two options, English language and Chinese language. And as you can see, one of them has a red star, meaning that it is required. This requirement is based on the department that you have chosen before, because different departments require different language ability. So first, fill out the one that is required first. In this case, is the Chinese language, so I will use it as an example. After that, then you can fill in the other language. Okay, firstly, if your Chinese is your foreign language, language then click yes. If it is your first language, then no. Now, if you have a Chinese language certificate like uh, TOCFL or uh, HSK, you should upload it here. You just click choose file, then browse for the file, then click upload. Then fill in the number of years that you have studied the language. After that, fill in where do you learn this language, at school, tutoring class, or with family. Lastly, Fill in if you have took any language test, just yes or no. After filling the required language, you can next fill in the other language. Okay, next page. So in this fifth page, it's for the document. Firstly, you need to upload the Chinese or English version of your diploma. If your diploma is not originally written in English or Chinese, then you must translate your diploma into one of the language. 
either it's English or Chinese. So just one of the language. Then here you are asked to upload the uh, um, official transcript of your highest education. For example, if you are applying for a master degree, then you must upload the transcripts of your bachelor degree. Then if you are a high schooler wanting to apply for university, then you must upload your uh, three-year high school transcripts. In this section, upload your transcripts in their original language first. Then translations will come behind. Okay, so here is the sections for you to translate the above transcripts into Chinese or English if the original language is not those two. Same as before, just translate to either one of the language. Next, you are asked to upload a letter of recommendation. It can be your teacher, your, headmaster, uh, your headmaster or head teacher, or even your professor if you are a graduate student. Here is the second letter of recommendation. It is not required to have two letters, but it cannot hurt to have more than one, right? The more, the merrier. Then, you need to upload your ID photos, so it needs to be a formal picture, remember that. Then, next, you need to upload a photocopy of your passport. You need to upload the identification page of your passport. The one with your name, pictures, expiry, data, and etc. Next, you need to upload your resume or CV including what this list here requires. But the contents don't have to be exactly as mentioned in here. It is here just for a reference only. Just make a proper resume or CV and you will be good. After that, you are required to upload the financial statement of your family. It is like a um, statement of the financial condition of your family. It can also be received from your bank. Lastly, if you want to add any other documents that are not mentioned in here or mentioned before, feel free to upload it here. It can be your portfolio, self-introduction video, or it can be anything that you think might be beneficial for your studies. And with that, we have arrived at the end of our application process. Just click next and confirm. We're all set. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. So I wish you good luck on your studies and see you next time. Bye-bye.